Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you yet another interesting project. This time I have ordered two LNAs. LNA stands for Flow Noise Amplifier. And as you can see here on the bench, I have the AliExpress LNA. This is one is 13 USD with shipping. And I have the LNA from GPIO Labs. I'll post the link in the video description. And this one is 48 USD, but with shipping, it's 54 USD. What's an LNA good for? Well, it's used on the receiver. Instead of having an amplifier to amplify the signal source on your drone, the LNA is put on the receiving side so that it will amplify whatever signal that your receiver is seeing. So besides having these two LNA, you need to make a power splitter. This is the power splitter which allows you to hook it up to your goggles and this end you could plug in your battery and this leads here will splice that power from your goggles battery to power the LNA and I'll show you more about that later. Now if you look at the LNA there's RF in and RF, RF out and this is where you plug in your receiving antenna such as the DJI antenna but as you can see it doesn't fit because both are female and hence you need this adapter here okay this will convert the SMA plug here to RP SMA and this way you could hook up your DJI antenna like so And for the RF out, this will go to your goggles. And if you're plugging into the DJI goggles, you will need this adapter. There's a male end here, which will go into this port, the RF, RF out port. And then you end up with this RPSMA, which will fit right into your DJI goggles. Well, without going into the actual performance yet at this point, I would guess that the difference in price between these two LNAs is largely due to the IC's use. For the LA Express, the IC has a noise floor of 4.5 dB, and this will be similar to the SBB4082S from Mouser. Whereas for the GPIO Labs LNA, it has a stated noise floor of 0.8 dB, much lower, which would in theory give you a better performance a better signal to noise ratio but unfortunately due to this metal capsule here which is protecting the electronics I can't access and see what the IC is inside if you notice I have these ports here which takes in 5 volts I've soldered them onto the board so that I could plug in the plug here which is from the power splitter adapter I'm going to play a short video to show you how to make this power adapter well, to make the special adapter for splicing the power from your goggles battery to power the LNA, I'm using a female DC plug and a male DC plug. I got this from a hardware store and I found this lying around. In this shot, I have removed the extra sleeve of the female DC plug and the excessive sleeve of the male DC plug, as you can see. So we only need to use this portion and this portion. Now that the power splitter adapter has been completed, we could plug in this end to our FPV goggles and then plug in our LiPo battery through this end here to power the goggles and these two leads will splice the power supply. But before we can use this to power the LNA, it has to be stepped down to 5 volts. To do that, I'm going to use the 5 volts regulator here. This is the switching regulator from Pololu. 
and it's a noiseless regulator. There's no port for adjustment, it will give an exact 5 volts. Before the soldering out of the way, now it's time to mount it onto the DJI goggles. So I have the LNA here and the special power splitter adapter. I'm going to install the LNA to the port here, which is the receiving port. You can't use it on the top two ports because they have transmitting function. So just install it here like so. And then you have the DC jack inserted to the standard power like so and finally you could just plug in your flight pack sorry the goggles pack and this will supply power to everything but for the preliminary testing I'm going to test this setup on the FatShark Bite Frost HD system first the reason is because it's easier to see if there is any improvement in the image of the bite frost as compared to the DJI since in the bite frost a weak signal is seen as static here I have my quad sitting by the window and it has the bite frost HD video transmitter transmitting live footage and I'm holding the bite frost ground station I'm walking out of the study room into the living room and the signal has been clear so far now I'm heading for the door to take a stroll outside I'm having a directional antenna with no LNA at the moment and you can see the signal starts to break up as I walk down this corridor there's no signal now full static and now all signal is lost let's head back to see if it could pick up any signal yep the signal is picking up slowly let me swivel around to see if I could get a better image alright yep this is the spot where I'm able to see some image wait yep this is the spot I'm gonna hold it right there okay I'm getting colors here and lots of snow as you can see but it's not too bad I imagine it would be flyable with this amount of snow but let me try to find the best angle try to point the directional antenna at, at the best angle to get the best uh, footage and it appears to be right here this seems to be the best that I could get the image to become and yeah now I have the AliExpress LNA this is the chip LNA and I'm trying to find the best angle once again to get the best footage so that I could do a fair comparison and okay right about here this seems to be the best angle yep somewhere um, alright somewhere here yep I'm holding it right here at this angle so that I could do a fair comparison and this is the most expensive LNA uh, 54 USD and it's quite disappointing as you can see I'm moving away from the area that I was standing so I'm even changing the test variables right here to see if I could get an image but it's really disappointing well here are the footages side by side at a glance they look similar but if you pause the video at any point of time the one of the RNA is actually better
Everyone here, I am at the field, and this is the first test without the LNA. Alright, here's the second test with the LNA on the goggles, as you can see. Now that was a very quick test comparing the DJI experience with the LNA and without it. Honestly, I can't tell there's much difference. Perhaps there's a subtle difference with using the LNA when I go further down behind those trees over there. But for the most part, the experience is pretty much the same. And as for the LNAs, I would advise that you avoid the GPIO labs on A because it doesn't work for FPV video. Perhaps it will work for GPIO devices, so I can't say that it's all that bad. That's all I have for this video. I hope you find this video information useful. 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.